Good morning. Welcome to the Exhibition Awards, the second Exhibition Awards here at Okot International School. This is the second year that we're doing this ceremony uh, and it's going from strength to strength. Now a lot of you in here today, uh, you're seven, you're eight, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right, good morning to the parents back home who are going to be watching this a little bit later next week once we've edited it and sent it out. So good morning to the parents as well of the community. Um, just going to fir first start with this award ceremony and explain a little bit about it because particularly probably the year sevens. Put your hand up, year sevens. There you are. Morning. Right. You might not know too much about this. I don't think Primary did this program. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the merits. And just, it's a bit of a recap as well for the um, year eight students as well. So when you apply for this award, you have many different subject areas. It could be history, it could be geography, it could be science, it could be drama, it could be music. There's various different awards you can apply for and they're right up on here today. You can clearly see them. But what's the purpose of doing this? Why do we celebrate? these awards? How do you win one of these awards? How do you get one? How do you get your moment in the limelight? Well, first of all, you need to be passionate about your subject area. You need to be feeling enlightened by that subject area. You need to feel that what you do in the classroom isn't quite enough. Okay? You need to go, and I'm not always beyond the classroom. I think you might have seen it right at the start. It's demonstrating what you do outside of school, guys. Not necessarily from Monday to Friday. Yeah, what can you do to show your passion, your zeal, your commitment to a particular subject area? And this is what we celebrate today, okay? It's not an easy process. You can't just say, hey sir, can I get the history award? Please, I really like you. That's not going to do it. You need to do much more than that. You need to write an application letter. You need to spell out and explain why you're so passionate about the subject area. You need to be able to communicate your ideas in an interview process. You need to stand up and talk to the heads of the department in the school and their respective teams and say, I want to win the Geography Award. Perhaps not Geography, History. I want to win the Drama Award. And you need to be able to communicate that. So that's just a quick overview of the Exhibition Award. And these are some of the fantastic winners. Okay, because of COVID, we couldn't necessarily have this celebration. But we celebrate this today. So before we get going, I thought it would be fantastic to share some of those experiences with you all. Okay, so I'm going to invite Mudit, please, to come to the stage. And if you would like to, to come to the stage and, and talk a little bit about why he won his particular for design and technology. Thank you, Mudit. Hello, my name is Mudit Jaitley, and today I'm going to talk about design technology in further detail. There are two main parts of designing. I'll start with architecture. Architecture is a very technical job. It involves precision, mathematics, and imagination. For example, you're building a house and you come to the last step, assembling the roof. You put down the last piece and guess what? It's five centimeters too short. The architect says wrote it wrong. And this could lead to leakage, a lot of money loss, and worse, danger. That's why an architect has a lot of pressure on his or hers back. This has always been my dream job since I was about the age of eight. It always mesmerized me how math plays into the role of making something which you can live in. Moving on, product design. Designing a product takes a lot of time and energy too. To see this better, here I have a Rubik's cube. So, a designer designed this multiple times and this is one of their designs. So, this is probably a designer's first or second design. They make so many designs and then they make a final one or choose their favorite one and then send it off to experts, experts have a look at it, and then they go through many trials, safety trials, and then hopefully makes the market. So that's it from me, thank you. Uh, next up we have Max Harley to talk a little bit about his math success. All right, so good morning everyone. So first day I'd like to thank Mr. Seymour and everybody else involved with the Exhibitioner Awards. Um, I don't think I won this award because I'm some sort of math genius, like most of you may think. Um, to be perfectly honest, I don't know how I won the award in the first place. Um, when I sent in my application email, it was clear to me that I was who I was and I had the credentials that I had. I knew what I had done and I was happy with what I had done, no matter what anybody else thought. And 
to me, that's what the exhibitionary awards meant. The awards aren't meant to only celebrate your academic achievements, but also your personal achievements. Celebrating what you've done inside and outside of school. Celebrating your hobbies that are linked to academic achievements. And to any of you who want to apply to this in the future, I think that you have to remember that. To think of what you've done and whether or not you are happy with what you've achieved before you even think of letting other people reflect and think about what you've done and maybe winning an award. Okay, can we have Clara please, the winner of the English award, to come up and read a piece of descriptive text? Thank you, Clara. The sodden cardboard sticks to the rough, weathered concrete of the sidewalk. The humid air clings to my skin and my threadbare, grubby clothes ripped and fraying around the edges. Beads of sweat are clustered around my temples, and the droplets slide off like miniature hurricanes. But the citizens of Saigon avoid me, steer their children away from me in the bustling crowd. The bright lights of neighboring districts are barely pinpricks of light across the horizon, and even the comforting, reassuring presence of my dog cannot elicit joy from me on this balmy summer evening. After all, the streets are the crowd, and the crowd is the energy. And born from the energy are the whispers, the stares, the gawking, the glaring. As I fall asleep at night on the rough, rodent-infested street, I wonder, only for a brief moment, what it would be like to live in a world of luxurious apartments and commodious houses. Tourists say Vietnam is majestic, that the food is delicious, but they haven't seen the city, the countryside, the mountains, not really. The crowds come and go and my life maintains a steady repetition. My sole companion is now my dog, who is my only family, my only guardian. The army was previously the lone home I had ever known. There we fought for our country, protecting it at all costs. It took me a long time to realize that the only thing that could destroy the army were its foundations. So I dared to hope and saw the light beyond the darkness of the restrictions and boundaries of the military. I cast off the bounds of tenebrosity that had plagued me since the war, and I pursued a future of happiness. And now, despite my lack of shelter and my meager food supplies, I do have a home. My home lies in the place where my life is defined by what I created to be. My home lies in my freedom. Okay, so now we move on to the actual ceremony itself. Okay, the first award goes for business, and this award goes to Andre. Uh, Andre wins this award because of his fantastic website he designed by himself whilst he was working extremely hard to maintain and, and worked very, very well in terms of amending and changing this website to perfection in the end. So Mrs. Barrow was very, very pleased. Andre, can you please come up? Thank you. The next award goes to Moody, who you've seen already this morning talking about his fantastic um, design and technology. Um, evaluated many, many products, has a critical eye for design, and works extremely well in lessons, according to the panel of judges that decided on Moodoo to work. Moodoo, can you please come to the stage? Thank you. <laughs> Whilst you're there, Moodoo, as well, you have a second award, also for individuals and societies. This award was given from various teacher recommendations from its supporters, in particular, showing evidence demonstrating beyond the classroom, in particular, his project on the Mekong River. So well done, Rudit. <laughs> Yassin Khalifa is not here today. He's, he's moved on to uh, another school in the Middle East, but we wish him well, and we also celebrate his success today as well. So Yassin, if you're listening, hope you're doing very well. The next award goes to, and you've seen her already, Clara Lager for her English work, uh, and particularly that excellent piece of descriptive work for the Global Canvas. Clara, thank you. The next award also goes for English, and this is for Bella Kova for her work in English in the upper secondary. Thank you, Bella. The next award goes to uh, Clara Lager again, this time for science. 
this is for her fantastic letters with supporting documentation. Her application is based around her interest in science, desire to understand the world, supported by her involvement in SYNT and STEAM, with compelling evidence that she understands where her work, the, the CYNT, knows to improve for next time. Plus, this is a fantastic grade of improvement in science. So well done, Clara. The next award goes to Dana Amir. This award is for biology. She's produced a fantastic letter and presentation in interview with the head of science, uh, Ms. Mrs. Bry at the time. Brilliant and very well-deserving award. Well done, Dana. <laughs> the next award goes to JP, Joe Pedro. This is for his fantastic letter and interview with the head of science as well. He wrote a short essay on quantum electrodynamics. Wow, that sounds incredible. Um, fantastic work. Most of the research he did himself. A real passion uh, for physics outside of the classroom. Well done, JP. <laughs> the next award goes to Martin Katz. And this is for drama, lower secondary. Martin showed his talent throughout and always busy creating new characters, stories, and videos and clips. His focus on drama takes it to a different level. The next award goes to Max Harley. He's already spoken today, but he produced an excellent application supported with a confident interview. He talked about his struggles in maths previously, but in his ability, desire, and resilience to come to overcome, sorry, uh, maths. So well done, Max. <laughs> the next award goes to Isabel Stubbs, or Izzy Stubbs as we know her, uh, for drama. Izzy, Izzy is growing in confidence and finally can embrace her passion. She's always writing scripts and watching performances. Well done, Izzy. The next award is for Josh Shouten. This is for music. He provided plenty of evidence of his learning the guitar himself. And he showed a real passion for music. He wrote an incredibly mature letter of application and he spoke from the heart during interview. This is clearly much more than a hobby for Josh and we're looking forward to hearing on the guitar uh, one day again soon. The next award is for Isla Shouten, who's running the family, for art. This work, art shows originally and embracing the subject. Excellent sense of colour. Well done. <laughs> the next award is for Anne Fleur, but I believe Anne Fleur's uh, not here today, so we can pass on that award a little bit later. But Anne Fleur won her award for art, if her parents are listening, an excellent variety of creativity. So well done, Anne Fleur. And last but not least, the next award is for maths, for Chloe Lim. She's particularly impressed with Chloe's passion for maths outside of the classroom and the amount of enjoyment she gets from it. Her project was really well researched and presented and showed excellent insight into the situation the world finds itself and how maths can help provide a way forward. Ladies and gentlemen, give me the exhibition award. We've got a late arrival, Anne Fleur. Would you like to come up to the stage, please, for your award? Okay, Anne Fleur is for art for the top four, but her excellent creativity that award. Thank you. Okay, I just want to finish on this note, particularly for the sevens and eights, guys. Perhaps you haven't applied for one of these awards, perhaps now, hopefully, look at these fantastic winners. Now you're thinking, yes, maybe that is for me. Maybe I can apply for one of these awards. Maybe you can win one of these awards. Yeah, I would love to see one of you up here next year for the 2021 Exhibition Awards. You can apply for as many as you want, but please follow your passion, follow your heart. Okay, show what you can do beyond the classroom, guys. I want to finish with Sphere Adieu. So Sphere Adieu was my old motto of my school. It's called Durham John Johnson Comprehensive School. And the motto every day was always Sphere Adieu. It was always that motto. Okay, this idea of being wise or daring to be wise. Going forward and thinking, actually, school finishes at 4 o'clock on a Friday. You can go home and watch Netflix and do, do nothing. It's good to have some time out. But what else are you doing? 
How else can you follow your passion, whether it's maths, whether it's drama, whether it's uh, English or um, design or business? How can you follow those passions? Okay, does it end at four o'clock on a Friday or can you continue that? You can certainly go forward and research and ask those questions. Okay, so please dare to be wise. Go that extra step. Go beyond the passion. Okay, um, next year we'll be releasing information from January 2021 about how you can apply. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Okay, one more round of applause for the winners, please.